What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're kind of getting everything ready for the Ozarks. We're going to be going to rendezvous in the Ozarks from October 12th to 15th. And as I was preparing everything, I decided to make a quick video of the simple mods that we have done to our Cal Alucap Canopy Explorer. Some things that are cheap, easy, and that can make your life easier while camping. They definitely help us, and these are the things that we want to show you. So the first mod that we want to show you guys is a really cheap mod, something we got out of Amazon. The Alu Cab is in aluminum, obviously, so we want we have some hardcore lights that are uh, magnetic. So we went ahead and we bought like metal plates. Um, these are the metal plates that you put on your cell phone case to um, to put the magnetic um, mounts. And we have one, we have two in the back door, and we have one on each door. Um, and that's where we put our hardcore lights. The second thing that we want to show you, um, it's not so cheap, but we recommend it 100%, is the cupboard for the canopy itself. And it has different ways to use it. In, in our case, we use it for, um, we carry the propane, five gallon, um, propane, we use the Expedition Essential Mount, um, I'm sorry, adapter for the 5 gallon. And I just bolted to the cupboard and then with a strap, we strap it in and it's in place and it's always there. And, you know, we put some other things, some other gear that we um, fit here. And I mean, it's, it's a must for me. I think it, it should be a must in each um, public app canopy. So on the back of the cupboard, we install a molly panel in order for us just to have um, space to mount more accessories and to have something metal and that way we can put magnetic stuff into it as well. And we have this quick release fire extinguisher mount that we put here probably in the future we're gonna um, switch to one of those um, extinguishers that are um, like one of one time use and um, yeah but for now it works fine i think um, it's a really good option to have it here because you can just pull it and you have it ready we also have a strip light that we connected here and it's connected to the power that is on the deck system um just to have more lighting inside the canopy explorer as well so we also have a, an iron man 13 gallon water tank and that is connected to uh 12 volt water farm over there that um, provides pressure here to this um, nozzle and yeah we have enough water for a couple days here in this part here we have a it's kind of like a 90 90 degree metal piece in order for us to put our dometic faucet here um, it's also it also pumps from the it also pumps water from the same tank and we just plug in the Dometic faucet here and that way we can use that water to wash your hands and it doesn't have as much pressure as the, um, as the nozzle over there. And we also have this propane line. It's a 12 feet propane line. We, live, we just leave it here when we were, we're not using the propane. Uh, and when we're cooking, we just plug it in here and it runs under the deck system. And then on the other side, we just pull it out and we connect our um, stove there. So today we added a rotor pack here. It's a diesel rotor pack. Um, so the main use for this will be for the diesel heater the truck is diesel as well so we can use it for both things and yeah we i put it like some extensions some of those brackets that are used to mount tents from like metal pieces like that then i bolted that to the track here in the alley cab it's m8 bolts actually and then from there i connected the rotor packs mount and then i put it up there so, so far it's been solid so i think it's gonna work out pretty good and this is something new today. Actually, we move our um, battery that is connected to the solar panel to the back because we're going to install one of the seats and we wanted to get it out of the way. 
Um, it's just a simple setup. We have a 50 amp hour battery in here with the red arc and it's all connected to the solar and also an alternator and then this is what provides power to the water tank to the, everything in the canopy and also to the connections in the deck system as well we also mounted our baja design chase lights in this um 90 degree angle bracket it's just a metal bracket that way we could lower it and it's not blocked by our 180 on it that's how we installed it. These are some simple mods that you can do to your Alucap Canopy Explorer. They don't have to be crazy expensive. And you know, the good thing about this is that you can, you can do a lot of things with it and modify the way you need it. So we really hope this gives you some ideas. It doesn't have to be exactly like that, but at least some ideas that will help you guys set up your Alucap Canopy Explorer. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of our next video. Thank you.